Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about how to multiply the sum and difference of two binomials. This topic is under the special products for grade 7 mathematics in algebra. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now let us start multiplying sum and difference of two binomials. This is the given pattern, guys. We have here x plus y times x minus y. Kung ano notice nyo, ang difference ng dalawa is yung kanilang operation sa gitna. So as you can see, yung first term nila are both x, yung second term nila are both y. And when you multiply this kind of thing or binomials, it will give you this answer. x squared minus y squared. So paano kinukuha yan? Copy the first term and then square it. Copy the second term and square it. And then always yung kanyang middle sign, or kanyang operation sa gitna, is always subtraction. So let's put into practice para mas maintindihan nyo on how to use this pattern. So what we have here in number 1 is that we have x plus 2 times x minus 2. Dito, yung first term natin is yung x. So imagine natin this is your x first term and this is your second term which is y. This is your first term and this is your second term. So ang lang dito is to copy this pattern. Copy the first term, which is x, then square it. For the second term, which is 2, square the second term, and then lagyan mo lang ng subtraction sign sa gitna. But it's not yet done. We have to finalize our answer. This is x square minus 2 squares is the same as 2 times 2, or simply equal to 4. And as you can see, we have right now the answer for the product of x plus 2 times x minus 2. And that is x squared minus 4. So I hope guys, this is the first example pala natin. Nakuha nyo na yung mismo pattern on how to multiply sum and difference of two binomials. So let's continue with item number 2. In number 2, this is your first term, 2x. So the second term is 3. And we will try to find the product of 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. So this is the first term. We have to square it. 2x raised to the second power. Minus, always minus, given the pattern. And then square the last term, which is equal to 3. And we need to simplify this. 2x raised to the second power is definitely equal to 4x square. Then minus... 3 squares, 3 times 3, or simply 9. And that's it, guys. This is the answer for item number 2. So we still have two different examples. Let us proceed with number 3. In number 3, we are given here 3x plus 5 times 3x minus 5. This is your first term. This is your second term. Let us square the first term. We have 3 x raised to the second power. By the way, guys, ba natataka kayo bakit natin in-enclose by the parentheses? Kasi, dalaw ito kasi eh, isang variable lang to. Or isa lang to. Dito, dalawa na in-square natin. So, we need to enclose it by the parentheses. Pero, ganun pa rin naman yung process. Next, minus, then, square the second term, which is 5. 5 square. Simplify, 3x to the second power is the same as 9x square. Because 3 square is 9, x square is x square. Then minus 5 square, which is equal to 25. And this is now the answer. So as you can see, throughout the first, second, and third example, gala ka dali pattern on how to multiply binomials. But don't get me wrong, guys. Since these two are both binomials, we can definitely use FOIL method. It's up to you if you want to use this pattern or the FOIL method. Basta para sa akin, mas madali ito dahil ito ay under ng special products. So I hope guys you learned something from this video and this will serve as your assignment. Sana makita ko sa comment section what is the answer for or what, what is the product of x plus 4 times x minus 5. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to multiply the sum and difference of two binomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button 
for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Goy. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!